Hello everybody and welcome back to another Talescraft video uh, episode 2 and today uh, you will see something very cool um, yeah with this episode I will release a resource pack under this uh, video you can install because a good friend named Timeless Fox uh, created an exterior for me so I edited it with him so he oh, well he textured it, it and I said how I would like it yeah but this texture is looking like that we have our own exterior red industries yeah and all my German wheels now that red industries is a very good company and now it will spread out over the world. We will go into time travel business. Hey! <laughs> yeah, so 3D model, very detailed. I really like it. Big thanks to uh, Timeless Fox for that. Okay, yeah, and when you hold it in your hand, it's looking like that. So you can literally. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, nice. Okay, so um, one thing changed is the radio, a little bit more players now. And if you go inside, you see we have a symbol over there. And you may ask, what symbol is that? It's Gallifrey language from Doctor Who. So, Gallifrey language. And what do you think it is saying? Right, it's saying my name. So that's my name in Gallifrey language, shown with particles. <laughs> yeah, and I will add a few more of these, like anywhere in the TARDIS, or making some or to show something on the console, I don't know. Because when I'm looking at this, I am kind of want to do like, uh, when you put up the TARDIS, the symbol will be shown. Or like putting up and then the symbol will pop up in sort of some sort of display. It could be cool. Oh yeah, I know I could do that. Like I can make a free by free version of it, place it inside there, then it will boot up with that symbol, and then the signs will pop up or something like that. But yeah, um, yeah, the name is not Red Industries, so I replaced the blue thing because it was very laggy after time. And yes, uh, the other generator I think I showed. I think so. Otherwise, yeah, it's just for making fuel for the TARDIS. <laughs> and I didn't show that here, you can see throw in a lava bucket, a blowstone dust, um, amethyst shard, and a honeycomb. And you get the archer particle. Hey! Okay. Good. What else did I, did I make? I made a player locator. So, you have a target board here. When there is no target, it will just go to the waypoints you have selected or other things. But when you select a target, it will override the waypoint and everything else. So, like, I clicked play OK on one time, and now I'm the target because I'm the only player in the world. If we had two players, it would ch change to the other player. Yeah, and now. I can select as many weapons as, uh, as I want, but it will still teleport to me because I'm the target. So to reset your target uh, sign, you just click that one here and the target is gone. Very simple. I can show you that in a couple of seconds. Um, yeah. Okay, nothing else in here. Oh yeah, this one here. Okay. One quick thing I will show you. Um, Take the red camera, remove inside. I will overwrite the Tata security protocols right now. Um, so, I have this blue candle here. And with this blue candle, I will make a custom model for that. I'm, I'm trying, it's very hard. Um, you can call the TARDIS. So, if I'm throwing that away, You see a wormhole has opened right here. Uh, 
and the TARDIS comes out of this wormhole. So we have it now inside of here, that's good. Because when I'm now flicking this lever here, you will see something. Whoop, the TARDIS shrunk. You can see it again. Resizing, shrinking. Resizing, shrinking. Resizing, shrinking. And yeah, now that you are in small version, you can still change through the exteriors because now... Uh, wait a second... Oh god damn, I broke it again. There we go. So you see, it's now a small statue. I didn't add the other ones. And you can resize it back to... Big version, small version, big version, small version. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Shrinking feature. Mm. Yeah, so I showed you the, the thing here. I showed you the player locator. And now we're going into the vents. And uh, so for the exteriors, we have now two lines. This is the big line and this is the shrunken line. Yeah. So it's just like teleporting it to different sides. And over here we have an industries box. It's just custom model data. So that's you, why you need to resource pack for. Mm. And yes, that's that one. So it's like here, if you press the lever, it will teleport it minus four on the x-axis. Yes, okay. And then we have new corridor. And that one over here is for... Oh, that's the player locator, right. So, first thing that happens, if you press the button... Oh wait, uh, that's a reset thing. Well, So, if the comparator is in a first mode, it will set back red sun block. That's right here. And then it will set block air again, and it will put the comparator back. When you set uh, what's on here, it will execute as at a tag as goal, run tag it as remove goal. So the person who had the tag goal will get it removed. And then a random player will get the tag. So that will be shown on the board. Yeah, pretty simple. And that one was just, if it's existing, then uh, it will override the waypoints. <clears throat> okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, the task call feature, very simple. You have that one here. If your score matches one, because it, when made the score with it, it checks if you found a way blue candle. So if your score matches one, it will summon a marker at your position. Then it will reset your scoreboard from Tardis call. After that happens, the marker is existing. It's checking this armor stand, uh, this command block. Then it will uh, teleport the DMAT thing to the marker, kill the marker, making a few beautiful particles. And we have this little repeater thing here that's just for that's just for timing. So like the portal will open right here, and then you have this time here after it will land there. Yeah, and that's pretty much all. <laughs> Very easy. One thing I can show you is this command right here because it's making. Oops, it's making that thing right over there. So I have a data pack and I can import like own pictures and everything into a program that's making me specific uh, file data. And if I add them to the server, I can select them right here. So this thing is called TT, so it's just function. If I'm now selecting like um, at five, you will see a yellow version of the circle, but it's not. I, I didn't select it because you see it's very bugged. Uh, it's not that looking good, or not looking that good. We have a few. I have my own skin in here. <laughs> 
I'm um, just like down on the ground, but it's yeah, you, you see, you can try to do everything. If you want to know how you can do that, I will make a tutorial. Just write it down in the comments if you want to see that. We also have deep skin in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, now that I'm seeing this, deep, when you watch this, you can actually make emergency program one with this and not with an armor set. Do it like resize and it will stand here and it will look at you because you can make it like facing to you. And then you can make it blue f blue colors. Oh, that could look so cool. Yeah. So, we have... What is warm low? Oh yeah, that's a warm hole. <laughs> you can spin it around. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, um, it literally breaks the server. <clears throat> don't, don't try this. When you have a too high amount of particles, it will just crash your server. <laughs> I also have like Clara from Doctor Who in here, so there she is. Hello there. Oh, we have the 12th Doctor. Hello there. But yeah, I think that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and let me know if you want a tutorial for that, because it is very cool. See you in the next video, have some fun, and goodbye, you're Red Gamer.